Well, the sun is out and the skies are clear, so let's play. As I've not had a clear night for weeks now, the cloud cover has been relentless. I've decided to do some solar imaging. Now, I didn't have my own solar filters. I suggest you buy from Dwarf Lab the official filter. You're not going to beat it. But I like to tinker, as you know. I've designed my own solar filters, which you will be able to get if you follow the link below, as well as anything else I've tinkered and built for the Dwarf 2 and for the community. But today we're talking about the solar filter that I've built. So let's see how we went about it. Cue montage. <laughs> Okay, that's the filter on, and now let's orientate it at the sun. Okay, let's pull this round. It needs to come up. Obviously, we're not focused in yet. There we go. We have the sun. Here comes the sun, do 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 do. Right, we have the sun. Uh, we're going to set the exposure, take it off auto. We're going to have that probably about 125. That's looking better. Okay, let's zoom in a bit. Wow, that's lovely. We'll make sure, let's get rid of this. We're going to say we're tracking the sun, yep. Confirm. So it should track the sun now. Let's make sure we're in focus. I'd say autofocus did a lovely job there. Let's zoom in. Okay, that's looking good. I see the sunspots. Yeah, that's looking fantastic. Let's grab a photo of that. Shot success. Let's go to video, still tracking the sun, let's shoot this. Okay, we are now doing some solar videoing. We can see clearly one, two, three sunspots, let me zoom in a bit. That's quite nice, that's actually a couple of sunspots together there. Two over here. Wow, that's lovely. I really like that. So there you are, solar imaging on the Dwarf 2. And as you can see, the solar filters I made work just fine. You can get those solar filters, also the Batmoth mask and the lens adapter I made. They're all down in the link in the description below. Click on that link and you can follow it onto my eBay store. It really does help my little channel, so thanks very much for all your support. It's very much appreciated. So if you're looking for something cheap and cheerful to get you going, then absolutely these filters, as you can see, work beautifully. Now, as I said to you earlier, Dwarf Lab obviously sell the solar filter themselves. If you want the proper filter, go on to Dwarf Lab. The link is in the description below. Go to the accessories page, click on where it says filter, and you can see they've got the two filters. They've got the light pollution filter, and they've got the solar filters, both of which are absolutely essential for the Dwarf 2 telescope. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, if you could do me a solid, subscribe if you haven't already, give it a thumbs up to like the video. And of course, if you subscribe, it means you won't miss future content. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this and take care of yourselves, guys. And remember to look up because you just don't know what you're going to see. Thanks very much, guys. Take care.